And now back to Roger Cooper and the American Health Journal. With the advancements in methods for screening for breast cancer, physicians are now able to customize treatment options for their patients. We spoke with Dr. Colleen Coleman of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach, who tells us about the improving outcomes for women with breast cancer. Breast cancer is treated by a group of professionals. Um, there's breast surgeons, there are radiation oncologists, and there are medical oncologists. All of us have our different way of adding to the treatment of this patient's disease. If at any of those steps you feel uncomfortable with what's being recommended, a second opinion is always warranted. Also, starting with your first opinion, go to a reputable location. Um, there are agencies that um, review breast uh, centers and breast cancer data. Go look for the centers where they have a lot of experience in treating the disease that you have and, and look to them to start your uh, first opinion. Not everybody can afford multiple opinions, so make the first one count. We asked Dr. Coleman about the latest treatment options. As we go forward and learning more about breast cancer and um, how it behaves, um, in the world of surgery, we're trying to do surgeries that make the patient's breast look more normal than it did. So certainly we've gone on to lumpectomies for those women that um, qualify. Even in mastectomies, we're now um, uh, offering for those women that qualify nipple sparing mastectomies so that they look more like they did before they had the cancer. So in the surgical arena, we're trying to make women go through this uh, process and still look like they did before they got cancer, make them feel whole. In uh, medical oncology, we're trying to target cancers, so we know that cancers behave differently. So they're coming out with agents that target certain cancers better. They're using medications to uh, target different parts of the cell, like the hormone receptors, and they're trying to develop agents that maybe don't need necessarily to be given IV, maybe can be given by tablet, have fewer side effects. Um, that's where they're going in the medical oncology. In radiation oncology, they're going towards localized radiation, such as intraoperative radiation. So your dose of radiation is given during your lumpectomy, and you only have one treatment there um, that's surgery and radiation all at the same time, and um, rather than a six-week radiation course. Now, certainly not everybody is a candidate for these newer therapies, and, and there are types of breast cancer that definitely need a more aggressive and perhaps a more radical approach. But we're definitely trying to make women um, have an easier treatment, come out feeling more whole, and um, tolerating the treatments much better, getting back to what they need to do, which is take care of themselves and their family. We asked Dr. Coleman about the improvement in recovery for women who undergo treatments. As uh, we get better at treating breast cancer from surgery, the recovery is also better. Um, certainly, depending on the type of surgery that you have will dictate what type of recovery that you will also have. However, um, getting people back to normal functioning sooner, getting them out of the hospital, day procedures. Um, many of my patients with lumpectomy don't even say they have to take a pain medication afterwards. So by changing our techniques, um, using certain pain management options, we're improving patients' recovery as well. Now you can take the American Health Journal with you. The doctors you depend on for instant information are as close as your mobile phone. So go to ahjmobile.com and get the latest medical information you need.